Mexico City has a wastewater problem. The sewage system tends to overflow at various points across the city. A few months ago, the Mendoza's home was full of stinking sludge. To solve the problem, the authorities are building the world's longest wastewater tunnel using machines from Germany. From Schwanau, to be precise, where they're made by the Herrenknecht Company. These enormous pieces of equipment are designed to dig huge tunnels. A delegation from Mexico has come for the handover of the first of three tunnel boring machines. Jose Luis Loeje is the head of the Mexican National Water Commission, Conagua. The S-497 is not just impressively big and complex, it's also like a big toy. You have this to use the telescope cylinders. You have the blue one on the left side and the red one on the right side. Each newly dug stretch of tunnel is lined with concrete segments. The machine is hydraulically powered. It's operated by remote control. The wastewater tunnel is strategically important for the Mexican government. That's why it has to be built as quickly as possible. For me, the quality, reliability and efficiency of a company like Herrenknecht is very important. Herrenknecht may be a market leader, but such large orders don't come around every day. At the handover ceremony, CEO Martin Herrenknecht invites his guests to join him in pushing a symbolic red button. One, two, three. <laughs> Herrenknecht is planning to build a plant outside Germany and has opened an office in Mexico. From Mexico, you can supply North America and South America without having to pay any customs duties. So it's a very important location, especially if you consider that labor costs there are relatively low. But first, this machine has to get to work as soon as possible, 9,000 kilometers away in Mexico. Miguel Guevara is heading north out of town to one of the building sites for the tunnel. The tunnel will be 60 kilometers long, so he has lots of traveling to do. Guevara is in charge of the entire wastewater tunnel project. Work is already well underway at several sites, even before the drilling machines arrive. A huge hole is being excavated. This will be the lowest point of the new tunnel, 200 meters below the surface. One of the boring machines will start its work here. We're working at the same time in six different locations. We'll lower the machines to the bottom of the vertical shafts so they can start digging the tunnel. Much of what is now Mexico City used to be a lake. This is what's left of it. There's still water underground. That's a problem we'll come back to. This is where one end of the future tunnel will be. One of the boring machines will start here. The various machines will all be working at the same time, since time is short. They have a deadline of September 2012. At present, Mexico City and the towns nearby are all dependent on a single tunnel. So if there is a problem, it turns into a disaster. That's why we're all working so hard on this new tunnel. I'll show you the older one. The present tunnel is close by. It's called the Central Tunnel and dates from the 1970s. On average, it currently conveys 40 cubic meters of wastewater per second. That's double the amount it carried when it went into operation. 
cuando caen tormentas, entonces este túnel... When there's a big storm, the tunnel overflows. We need 10 times its current capacity. Join us next week to see the machines from Germany arrive. But then flooding, the problem they're trying to solve, causes disruptions. Events underground take a dramatic turn.